Morning and welcome to another vlog. So it is bank holiday weekend, as you'll have seen from the flu, flu, few clips I just inserted before. I've just done my first two group sessions of the weekend. Is Annie? She did one of them. Um, so yeah, I've got um, another two tomorrow, but then I've got quite an exciting weekend. My sister is in a powerlifting competition this afternoon down at the seafront. So just going to vlog my weekend and show you what I got up to. How was that session, Annie? Good. Tiring, tiring, sweaty, <laughs> really sweaty. Um, but yeah, so I'll see you in the next clip. Hi, so here's Hannah. We've made it down to the spa. Are you nervous? I am now. It wasn't this morning. What's in? 10 minutes ago. Uh, Alright, so do you want to explain what this competition is? So it is Lift for Cancer Suicide Showdown. It's basically powerlifting but without the squat. So bench and deadlift competition, three attempts at both lifts. And yeah, we'll see how it goes. So all the money raised is for charity, it's for cancer. Hannah has been, well, like I mentioned before, Hannah likes doing all the big lifts, so like bench squat and deadlift so I've been training her remotely so online so that is what we've been doing and we've been like prepping for this event so it's not about 12 weeks of prep we've done so like three different cycles all ready for today um, so yeah the aim is to just lift as heavy as she can so she's done the warm-up about five minutes from starting how are you feeling you okay? Good. Really good. Okay, so first attempt we are going for 42.5. Bars loaded for Hannah Duran. Well done, Hannah. is over. Didn't go quite as well as we would have thought for, but it's all learning experience. I think what we need to do is practice more on commands because I think that's just was a little bit alien really to her. Um, but yeah, for two and a half, still like a really good lift, still quite because quite a lot of the girls actually were failing, so I think quite a lot of them were struggling with it. Um, yeah, there was a lot more fa failings or like no lifts than I maybe like would have thought. Deadlifting is this afternoon. So it's like half two now, so I've just gone and got myself a coffee to keep myself going. So Hannah has had a little bit to eat. I've only had a five or one bar, that's all I've had to keep me going. Um, but yeah, hoping that deadlifts go a little bit better than this morning. Um, she's aiming, but I think she's starting off with 115, which should go up, but um, 45 kilos on the bench should have gone up. Um, but yeah, all the new experience, all um, all experience is going to be new, she'll be fine, she'll be absolutely fine. Deadlift I think she's a bit more confident with. Um, so yeah, she's warming up at the moment and I will show you her attempts when they um, come around to it. Come on Hannah, you've got it! Come on Hannah! Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Easy! Easy Gets this, so yeah, fingers crossed. I'm really nervous. Come on, Hannah, come on, come on, Hannah, you've got it easy. Come on, Hannah, you can do it easy, easy, easy. Pull, 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 pull,
we've just got back from the lift for cancer at the spa. Now it is half past six and I'm absolutely zonked. I'm wiped out and I didn't even do any lifting. But yeah, really good day, really good cause. Um, yeah, Hannah's dead chuffed with her PB on deadlift. So, and I'm really glad that she managed to like, not redeem herself, that's the wrong word. But um, yeah, managed to come out with it with really positive feelings so yeah we're just going to cook some tea now we did wander into town and get a few bits from Matt's and Spencer's treated ourselves so um we're just going to put it all together and I'll show you the few things that we've got when I put them out I'm absolutely starving all I've had today is my usual like egg white omelette thing for breakfast a five one bar a rice cake and that is it and it's half six so I'm absolutely starving I'm so ready for dinner so um yeah we're just gonna get on with it now and I will show you what we have when it's on when I'm serving it and it's out we picked this up whilst we were in Marks and Spencer's and oh my god it is incredible so we've got some sweet potato in here and we're just seasoning it with some of this red pepper and smoked paprika and then in the oven Yesterday we had the courgette fries from Sainsbury's, so I've just made my own. We picked up this pizza as well. These are the salads that we picked up. So I've had this one loads before and it's one of my favorites. It's the mango longitude and coriander one. It's beautiful. That's the one that for like the full pack, it's like 50 calories or something. Not tried this one before. So courgettes, beans, wheat berries, and toasted frigola. I've got no idea what frigola is. Absolutely none. And I saw this one and basically picked it up because it was reduced, but it looks nice. So roasted feta, butternut and char grilled pepper salad. Just taking a photo for Instagram, but oh, we're watching football and Arsenal have just scored. Yes. So we have got sweet potato and courgette chips. We've got the salads, just a normal mixed salad, crudites of carrot, pepper and cucumber, some crisps, cottage cheese, all the dips, chicken which we cooked like the past couple of days, um, pizza. So yum, I'm so hungry and I cannot wait for this. Yeah, I'm stood on a stool trying to take this photo. So dessert is the usual. We have got in here yogurt with stracciatella from Ad Frey. Then I'm just gonna top it with some of this ice cream from Morrison's really really macro friendly and then another macro friendly product we found is this perfect world caramel pecan ice cream from Tesco's and oh my god it is so good I'm gonna finish up with this and then that is it for the evening and I will see you tomorrow session one of Sunday morning by the way it's Sunday happy Sunday last saw me yesterday and um, that one went really well I think it was probably the best one that I've done yet so we've now got an hour gap where we just put the spinning bikes out then we're gonna go upstairs then we need to come back down put the spinning bikes away and got one more session for this morning but yeah that one was definitely the best one I've done yet everybody said so so yeah always improving so I'm chuffed to bits with that one Oh, 40 minutes before the start of my next class so I've just jumped upstairs I'm just gonna do a quick leg workout so what we're gonna do today is what's called 6 12 25 so we're gonna do it's almost like a giant set basically so we're gonna do six reps of the first exercise 12 reps of the second 25 of the third back to back we're gonna do three rounds two circuits hopefully and then um, yeah get it in nice and quick because I want to get off from the gym as soon as my next group session finishes as well
home now after another successful group session um yeah they went really well this weekend so i'm dead chuffed with those so i've just got home now gonna shower and change and then it is molten food festival which is about 30 minutes from my house so we were gonna get the train but i think we're gonna drive now so so we haven't eaten yet this morning. I just had a little bit of yogurt before I went to the gym, um, but we've got in the new carb killer in Jaffa Quake flavor. Chocolate orange is one of my favorites. So I'm really excited. So I hope this is nice. I'll give this to Hannah to open. So we're gonna taste test it now, see what it's like. I think, that might, so good. I think that might be like my new favorite. Mm. Oh my, that's really good. If you like chocolate orange, you like this. Yeah, yeah, I highly recommend. <laughs> and then like lime, chilli, pulled chicken as well so it looks amazing so we're gonna demolish this and then walk around a bit more from Molten Food Festival. I think it's like five-ish, maybe not quite. Um, had such a lovely day. It was absolutely beautiful weather. Um, such a nice day out, Molten Food Lovers Festival. If you live in this area and get the chance to go, I think the next one's in September. It's definitely worth it. You saw we had that like pulled pork and chicken taco, and then we went and had an ice cream. Um, I got rhubarb and custard flavour, which is a new one. I've not tried that before, and it was amazing. Um, coconut and white chocolate, which was really good. Probably wouldn't have it again. And then salted caramel. So yeah, again, if you live in this area, go to Groovy Moves in Malton. Best ice cream ever, like incredible ice cream. But I think I'm gonna sign off this vlog now. It's been like a jam-packed weekend. I'm absolutely zonked, I'm so tired. I'm also so dehydrated, I need to get some water down me. Um, but I'm just gonna do really boring things now, like put a wash on, clean the kitchen, do some work, start editing this video, and yeah, that is my weekend. I'm back at work in the morning. But yeah, it's been fab, really nice weekend, and it's been so nice to have my sister home and spend a bit of time with her again. Yes, so if you enjoyed this vlog, if you could give it a thumbs up, comment down below, that'd be amazing, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.